Oh, there's a bite. Oh, you diggity dog. Oh, shoot. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Happy New Year to you. It's gonna be a fun 2020 adventures on the horizon together, y'all. Uh, first one, going out with LFD today. Wanna to give y'all a little update on the uh, on the truck situation. The other day, I wanted to do a little test. And uh, just coming home from a spot with just the truck, this thing managed to get 30 miles to the gallon. Optimal conditions though, going like 55. Uh, it was pretty impressive, it was pretty impressive. But, this is what we really need to know here. Today's trip, pulling the boat up here, 92.5 miles, reset it straight from the driveway, 14.7 miles to the gallon with the boat. Honestly, really happy the way this thing tows too. It stays in low gear and it just is smooth and keeps it going. So I really like that. Obviously not getting 30 miles to the gallon with the boat, but nearly 15 miles to the gallon, I will take that all day. Pulling the crispy collector, I bet I'm getting like 25. So I'm very excited about the new adventure wagon and I'm excited about today's adventure with LFD. We were sitting there talking over the holidays, been spending a lot of time with the family and we were like, man, you know what? We should go up to this lake that has a bunch of striper in it and we should try to get some for the cooler. So that is what we're doing today. It is a nipply one though. We're looking at 43 degrees right now. Dad's got his toboggan on. It is, it is time for that. Speaking of, gold series. Back in stock for a limited time right now. If you guys want to get your hands on some, I know it sold out kind of quick the last time we launched it. Um, we've got a new bundle available, so I'll link that down below. Toboggans, hoodies, we got tees as well, but you probably want your hoodie and, and your beanie right now because it's so cold. Let's launch this boat and let's go try to get some stripes on the line. So the last time I came up here, just to, I hadn't been in the lake in a while and I was, I was just kind of wondering, you know, are, are the striper up and about? And usually in the winter time, you can get some striper. They like that cold water and they were. So we're planning on keeping some. Uh, you can only keep two over 20 inches. So we're gonna try to get at least one over 20. And I thought about bringing the crispy collector up here, but then I was like, man, I really wanna see how this truck pulls the big boat. And then my dad, you know, we were talking about fishing over the holidays. I was like, I need it. I need to go fishing with my dad. There's just not that many days in life. You only get so many, and you gotta you gotta spend some time with the pots. And my dad took the time to take me fishing when I was little, got me hooked, got me introduced, got me hooked. So it's always a, a fun time being able to take my dad down, just kind of talk about the days of old and the dangles of new. Expectations for today? I want a 20-inch striper. Okay, that's my goal. It's nipply, got the gloves on. Winter time dealio. Let's get it, silver bullet. First time seeing water in the 40s this year. 49.7. Shoo! First customers recognized. And I don't actually think they're striper. I think they're crappie. There's one looking at my spoon right there. Come on and do it. Might have to drop that little quarter ounce slab on you for the slabs. Yeah, because they're they're not moving at all. Oh, got him. As soon as I drop the white one down. Yes, sir. Drop these. Nope, oh, it's the little stripies. That little stripey, he wanted to, he wanted a little spoon. <laughs> so I hooked a tiny stripey. 
Yep, that's a baby. That's a baby. Grow up be a 40 pounder, please. Hey, all right, y'all, so far, me and Dad have kind of been idling around looking. We found the first group of fish that was very small. Very small. I thought they might be crappy. Crappy. I'm so cold, I can't talk. There might be some, some good smallmouth up shallow. There's quite a bit of bait that is less than 15 foot of water. You see a lot of bait fish that are just kind of cruising, suspended in the water column at that depth. So the gear we've got rigged up so far, a lot of spooning stuff. I've got a various uh, array of different depth spoons or different weight spoons. I've got one ounce, half ounce, uh, quarter ounce. I've also got a jerk bait tied on in case we want to go up there and throw shallow a little bit. And I've got, wabam, the big old a rig with a bunch of saucy swimmers on it so you know that's a good wintertime tactic as well uh, we're going to deploy all of those things probably over the course of the next few hours but right now we're going to just continue to idle around some steeper bank the tactic that i got i was really counting on before even hitting the lake is really going after these fish that are hanging on these drops you see them on the mega imaging there um, and just Tossing spoons at them and going down those ledges usually will luck into a, a good sized striper or two doing that. Get on the line, give me a good time in the new year. Wow, I, did, I just realized my first fish of the new year was so small. <laughs> really small. Jeez, can we get a flashback on that? Yeah, my second one was smaller. I'm not on a good thing here. I want y'all to just take a peek at what the mega imaging just popped up. I zoomed in there. That is a giant blue catfish chasing around the shad. Holy moly. You, you can make out his body profile. That is insane. What? I mean, what is going on here? Technology, I love you. You're so amazing. Okay, repositioned. We've got some stripers out here deep 62 feet of water right now i've got a three quarter ounce spoon just hovering above you can see like once you get past 50 feet on the mega imaging it really is not as crisp you know you can still make out but uh on the regular 2d you can see a little bit better oh i just got something Wait, did I? What do I got? Oh, spoon was jacked up. I hate when that happens. Get all excited. There goes my spoon. Okay, so I'm gonna stop it right there, just above them. Come on, baby. Not wanting to dance here. Let's try this again. It's pretty damn tough with the wind. Out of the depths, there he is. <laughs> My first cast with a rattling Ned. Wabam, smallmouth. Totally not the fish I came out here to catch, but I'll take brown fish any day of the week. Oh yeah. I was actually hung on a rock. My GoPro, for some reason, wasn't, I thought it was rolling the whole time. Wasn't even on, I don't know what happened. We came up here to a point, I had marked like seven or eight fish on this point behind me. And uh, I was trying to get them on a blade bait, a spoon. We were planning on just going down this bank right here. And I was like, I'll just sit here on the point for a second and make some casts. And I didn't get a bite on the blade bait. So I picked up uh, the old rattling net. And as soon as it hit the bottom, I got stuck and I was kind of moving it. And as soon as it got unstuck, boom, hit it. So it was in a boulder. I don't know. Maybe that's a key. We'll uh, we'll give it a few more casts and see what we can come up with. Yeehoo. First smile of the new year. Gotta love it, baby. See ya. Cheese. And LFD hooks up five seconds later. What is this? Wait, what do you have, sir? 
Is that a catfish or a drum? It's a small mouth. No, it's a drum. <laughs> it's a small mouth, literally. But it ain't no small mouth. That's good though. We got activity here. The mighty drum eats the spoon. Not quite what you want on the dinner table, but I hear they're good. I just never tried it. It's my first fish of the year. <laughs> drum. <laughs> drum. Started 2020 out, right. LFD hooked up. Yo, look at the giant. Giant dad's first bass of the new year. Oh, oh it's yeah. a hog jammer. Boy, can you lift him? <laughs> can you lift him? Boy, look well, at that stud. At least I got him. <laughs> the power of positive attitude. That's right. Let me get these googans here. Oh, look! Look at the fish here below. You've you've attracted them. You've got them going here. Got them excited. You pulled up the, the the school, no doubt. He said, "I made the parents angry." You made the parents angry down there. You <laughs> caught their child. You know. <laughs> All right. See you later, Squirt. <laughs> Meanwhile, we got some other customers down here. Mom and Dad. Look at that one there. That's that's one my dad just let go. Actually, joining the herd again. Got a big crowd up there. Channel's gotten pretty big. You know, over the years, I appreciate you guys. Uh, coming out took a took a big bus out here today to watch me you know catch a couple of really tiny fish anyway I'm just kidding I have no idea who these random people are but uh, we got an audience here dad just dad just caught such a magnum in front of a big audience speaking of magnum look at that donkey toe right there Ooh. oh there's a bite oh you diggity dog oh shoot oh man he bit the living snot hog off of that. Ah! Why didn't I let him just run with it, is the question. Because when you only get a bite every 30 minutes, you're not mentally prepared. You're just really hoping it's going to latch on. Hook sets and dreams, it's a real thing. These stripers are um, being very complacent today. Oh, we hooked up. We hooked up on the brown fish. Oh yeah, it's a nice one. That's a decent one there. A little better. You're gonna like this one, Dad. It's a little tastier. Yeah, that's what we're looking for right there now. Yee yes, sir. Get up on in here. There's a tasty smallie. Yeah, baby. Went back to that penny color. Got a little uh, copper in the back there, silver belly. It's actually my favorite color. I throw it the most. That is a that's a tasty cake right there. Now, I'll take me a couple of them's. Yee Alrighty y'all, another tasty small mouth right there. It's a good one. And it's funny, all of our bites have been just jammed up in rocks and stuff. Actually, three I've had three bites where I've been stuck in the rocks and you know, give it a little dangle, try to get it out, and uh, they come and grab it. Um, but still kind of being fickle. The stripers, they really don't want to play. I don't know what it is. They just they're super deep or they just don't want to bite, but Hey, at least we're getting a couple small mouth. See you, baby. Love you. Love you long time. Yeah, LFD hooked oh. up with a stick. Oh. Tree powder. <laughs> Feel like a cold fish coming up. About to jump. Weight was about right. There's a good fish right there. And the electrodes. Look at that fat hog. Oh, I just dropped down. Hooked a good smallmouth. Oh, yes. That was one of those I saw on the graph. And there's another one. There's another one there. You got him? Dad's got him. Nice. 
<laughs> nice job, Dad. Oh, watch this rock. We got them fired up. Yeah. There's more on the graph, too. Nicely done. Cold winter smallmouth right there. Yeah. And there's more. Nicely done. Well, he, he nailed that Ned. Dude, take a look back at the graph. There's a bunch more. There's a bunch more down there. Wanna... We gotta get down. Dad's hooked up again. This is a nice one. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Woo, we got into the good brown fish now. Yeah. This is how we were supposed to catch striper. Look, look at this thing. <laughs> That's a large one. Oh, 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 you lost the large mouth. Dad, go. Oh. Dad, what ah. are you doing, Dad? Come on, man. Ah. You were trying to show off for YouTube. It was nice. Yo, I got to get back down there. My camera's dying. Oh. Stuff's happening. Where did you, you hook that fish? Right under the boat? It was right under the boat? Yep. See, I was, I was right on top of them. Well, I just let this down, straight down. Yeah. No, I, I was right on top of them, though, and then so, the uh, spotlight got knocked off. Here's the deal, y'all. These fish, every one of them we've caught has been around 28 feet. And uh, we have gone to a bunch of different spots. Oh, I just had a bite there. And we've been trying to go for stripers. And we've gone out from 40, 60 foot. We fished even shallower than that for some, some of these stripers. And I said, some of these spots look pretty good. I'm going to throw a little rattling net around and I did and I was able to get a few bites but then this last point that we've come to uh, there's a there's a really good ledge that drops off into 28 feet of water it's like that great depth that they're liking and we just came across a group we did not execute this that great if I didn't have to film and and do everything I had batteries dying and all that uh, we probably could have caught five fish really quick Instead, we've had three. They're still kind of hanging around this area, but when you see a good group on the graph like we did, you just need to drop, drop, drop. Just sling them in the boat, take them off, and get right back to it. Because when they're fired up, one bites and they all start biting, you gotta capitalize on it. Especially on a day like today. We've, you know, <laughs> hell, you've caught like a drum and one little small mouth, and then all of a sudden it's like you have the potential of really catching a bunch of nice fish all at once. So. This is the moment that makes it all worth it right here. I'm doing it. Going big. The chandelier is being deployed. Oh yeah. Get it right there in that zone. Oh, and I snag something right away. Shit. That is not what you want. Well, can't get it to bite y'all. Keep seeing these little groups on the graph. Had one bite my jig or my spoon, but they're just not wanting to, to fire away. It was, as my dad would describe it, um, here at the end of the day, we, we fished all day hard and had like 10 minutes of actual fishing. So it was such a fury, a flurry, that um, I still have a fish in here. There's a fish in there. Everything was happening so fast, I, I just threw him in there. So we're gonna let this fish go and sign off for today came out here to catch stripers but i can't complain about catching the beautiful bronze backs happy new year i love you go eat lots of crawfish and shad and fatten up for the winter and you're going to be spawning here in a couple months i love you all right see you happy new year and happy new year to y'all as well you always got to be ready for every species at least in my boat i am First dangle of 2020 right here on the Lake Fort Guy channel in the books, guys. You better smash the like button for father and son fishing.
because that's just good stuff right there. I'm proud to say, first fishing trip of the year. Spend it with you, Dad. That's right. We're gonna go on some more adventures uh, this year. Definitely gonna do smallmouth in Canada. It kinda got me fired up, uh, especially throwing that little Ned rig. Ooh, I can't wait to throw the rattling Ned up there on those smallmouths. Many more adventures to come, you guys, in 2020. We are just getting fired up. So stay tuned right here on the channel. I'm going to sign it off for today. Thanks for being here. God bless you. I'll see you next time.